Have you ever paid close attention on how our mothers turn the information and instructions in this to this? And have you realized how different versions of the same recipe, in this case rendang recipe, can give rise to a slightly different taste of rendang? Well, this understanding can be used to help us when we try to understand genetics. Take these two people for instance, person A and person B. Both have hairs. This means that their body must have the information or recipe to form hair on their head. However, person A has straight hair, but person B has curly hair. So what is the difference? Before we begin discussing this in detail, I would just like to remind you that our genetic information or recipe is stored in the form of DNA. Now, back to the original question. What is the difference? Although both person A and person B have the information or recipe to make hair, person A's body have a slightly different version of the recipe as compared to person B, hence giving rise to a slightly different texture of hair. From this little demonstration, we can clearly see that someone's genetic information dictates his or her physical appearance. The genetic information that an individual carry can be termed as genotype, and the physical appearance of a person can be termed as phenotype. Therefore, based on this video, we can conclude that genotype greatly influence someone's phenotype.